Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the Word Audio Devotional. Today's topic in the series on sowing is the Word is a Sword. And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 17. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. I love the style with which the book of Ephesians is written. I love the vivid imagery Paul uses to pass his message across to the church in Ephesus and invariably to us today. Ephesians 6 and verse 10 begins to admonish us on the need to be strong. It continues and explains to us that all of us are in a war. He explains to us the kind of enemy that is at war with us and then proceeds to teach us how to equip ourselves to fight in this war. Our anchor scripture shows us a part of the armor of the believer. Take up the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. The believer's sword is the Word of God. My dear listeners, if you are not a person of the Word, you are fighting in a battle without your weapon of attack. You may have a shield, you may have a helmet, you may have shoes, but you have nothing to attack with, nor anything to protect in the event that your enemy strikes from an unusual angle. The word of God is a sword. It is the word of God that you use to attack things trying to attack you. It is the word of God that you should use to attack contrary patterns that seem to want to reoccur in your life. It is the word of God that you use to attack the revelations you receive about impending attack of the enemy. It is the word of God that you use to attack the contrary diagnosis that the enemy is trying to put on you. I encourage everyone to read the whole of Ephesians 6 and meditate particularly about the role of a sword in the life of a soldier. You will also see that immediately after speaking about the sword of the Spirit, the Bible begins to speak about prayer in verse 17. You cannot have an effective prayer life if you are not a person of the word. Remember that in the face of satanic attack and temptations, it was the word of God, Jesus, our example, used. Even Jesus put on his full armor. Who then are we to be too busy for the word? Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Lord, please, we cry for the grace to prioritize the word. Please help us, Lord. The grace to become skilled users, doers, speakers, and hearers of the word. Please release it upon us. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.